we had one more question waiting for us. Yes, um, I have a friend who was doing a process of breathing in connection with the galactic self. And she recommended breathing in blue mist and exhaling pink mist. And this happened several times. Inhale blue, exhale pink, inhale blue, etc. Would can you recommend any sort of process or exercise that could be useful for us to follow to practice this energy of blue and pink, which are most positive energies? This is a wonderful exercise. We are so pleased that your friend does this and we, we suggest Everyone do this, it is so beautiful. You connect to galactic energy, which of course is a very beautiful blue. In its pure state, it is a deep, deep blue. But as it flows into your being, it may mix with white energy because your soul is involved. So you get this beautiful blue and white. For different individuals, it may be pure blue. It may be ribbons of deep blue and white. It may become a pale blue. This is a unique color combination for each. You bring the energy into your being, breathe it through to your atoms, your molecules, your organs, your soul, your heart. When you breathe out, you're breathing a very divine love. This is similar to what your blessed mother does when your energy flows to her. It's a wonderful exercise. We absolutely recommend this. Yes. When you work with colors, Colors are very, very powerful. And you humans know this. For every culture in your country, in your planet, through history, always has worked with the powers of color. Many modern day people have fallen from this but each color has particular resonances that align the color with specific realities that allow you to connect with energies and lessons. So this is magnificent. We truly recommend for now working with blue, white, and gold energies for they are very calming and healing. Later, you will work with yellows, which allow for great purification and greens for growth. If you find that you are working, you're calling in blue, but gold keeps showing up, explore the gold to its origin. You may find yourself in a spectacular place or even in the dimension of the color of gold, which is very beautiful. Or you may be calling in gold and maroon shows up. Ask Maroon, why are you here? And learn what lessons Maroon has to teach you. Every color has unique properties. It is wise to explore them. Your friend who breathes color is on a good path with this. Thank you. We would like to share with you a technique of exploring what you are connected to that is a higher frequency than 
the distressing environment around you. So of course, we are all aware of what is causing the distress here. You know which of the particular distresses is bringing the most pain to your heart at this moment. Honor this, for it has a place in you. It is calling to you for assistance with healing. Be it a brutality, an illness, an environmental disaster, a corrupt politician. These are so many, so many issues all poof, pussing up at once. So choose whichever one is calling in your heart at this moment. Don't worry, you can do this as often as you like. So just choose one for now and then open, open your chakras and your awareness above your mind to what is up there. Invite your awareness to flow up Release all thoughts, period. Release thoughts and disbeliefs. Invite your awareness to go up and invite whatever is up there to send energy down to wrap and support you to pull you up even more like you are in a pulley system and allow your awareness to float up. It will float to some place, someone, something. This may fill your senses or just be a random thought, even a single word if you ask, where am I? You might even just have a thought pop in your head. You are in the space of turtles. You are in a hive of pure love. Just let your awareness go and see what presents itself. Whatever presents, invite it to come down and flow into you, to your heart where this distress is, and from your heart out along the line of distress to the source of origin of distress. Invite this energy from only you know to flow into you and to your heart, to this distress and surround to melt the distress, to fill it with a great deal of this energy and through the line of energy from you to the origin of it and just flow your energy this energy through you to it. <clears throat> Even if it is a concept. when you are done, you may release this connection through you outward. So you have now connected a source to a place in need of this energy and you may step away.
you may still receive energy from this source into you if you like and refill yourself, replenish. Indeed, this is a very simple technique. The only thing, the only skill you need is to trust and honor what you receive. We encourage you to practice this technique. It will become easier and more real for you each time you practice. You will notice also what rises up in your heart sometimes may be personal to a memory or an experience. You may do the same energy flow with that and then release it out. Do we have questions or comments on this process? Were you able to connect as comfortably as we perceived you did? Is there anyone who feels headache or queasy after this exercise? Wonderful. Then we will continue, but you are welcome to interrupt us at any point. By connecting divine or cosmic galactic interdimensional other frequency energy to issues that are happening very real around you in the 3d in this moment you are fluffing your environment with good stuff as well as releasing distress from your physical body, which will only create illness and unease, while also connecting you with divine frequencies. So you are imprinting, you are learning what dimensions, what races, what beings wish to connect with you, what are you most in alignment with, this will help you as you navigate your path of life. It also reminds you that connecting to a dimension is not always a big grand space trip Sometimes it is so much as just hearing a word in your mind and allowing that word to open up and fill you. Sometimes it is more simple than we expect. Do you understand what we mean with this? That you may open and connect then later you think that's so funny that did not seem like a big deal at the moment but now i feel utterly changed and i have all this knowledge in my head that was not there before yet it feels like it has always been here this is what happens when you have absolute trust and faith in what you receive and you accept everything that opens you up to the many collectives and dimensional representatives that are surrounding your planet trying with everything they have to help your planet to heal the more human anchors they can get the better if you do nothing else in your life to be a human anchor makes you a divine blessed soul for you help to heal your planet and raise the vibration so 
So what do you think? Do you think 2020 was the year everything fell apart? And 2021 is the year everyone came together to fix everything. If this is how you wish to think it, then this is a good thought to have in your head to help to manifest it. Of course, you need not wait till 2021. The healing can begin now. The manifestation. Imagine a world where everyone holds hands with everyone and everyone is very kind and helpful and cares for the environment and cares for the animals. This is the world to imagine to bring that energy closer in to you. For you know you exist in multiple timelines, but when each of the timelines are in alignment with the same message, that becomes extremely powerful and makes reality anchored. So allow your thoughts to also say through all timelines, 2021 is the year that our planet completely heals and everyone comes together. Imagine if each of the timelines this occurs, how beautifully you will resonate. So we tell you, when you call to energies from other dimensions and from us, other collectives, you send the energy up through your crown chakra and up. That is a very natural flow. When you send energy to other timelines, to try to become anchored with each other, to have a symbiotic experience. No, not symbiotic. Uh, synchronized experience. You send the energy out through your temples and your ears and the corners of your eyes to your left and your right to ask for a parallel experience. At this point, we tell you again, let your awareness go up back to whomever, whatever, wherever you were connected. Invite them to send their little loop of energy down to help raise you up to connect with colors, beings, whatever, to bring the healing energy. Give yourself a moment, go back up. You may ask them, what energy is this? Whatever pops in your mind is the answer. Let it flow in you and swirl around you and bring them, it, down with you into your body to fill you. You may find your heart opens and says more, please, and your mind. And then say, we send this energy with our wish to all timelines, all our parallel timelines to synchronize. Send the energy out to your eyes, out your ears, to your left and right, to all parallel timelines. Now, through 2021, is when we heal. 
we come together and heal, have the energy flow into you and out. Wonderful. And then release the energy behind you so it may keep flowing as you step forward. If you'd like, you may still have more of your beautiful energy flow into you to soothe and fill, to pump up your being with beautiful, yummy, divine love. Can you feel the difference in you from when you send the energy to something on your planet in your 3D now here, and when you send the energy to alternative timelines? It is a different feeling altogether. These are simple techniques we showed you tonight. You may share them with your friends if you like. These are very powerful techniques. These are techniques that are applied when universes are born. So you may see little galaxies or universes being birthed in your mind and think, what is this? roiling energy here. This is very good if you see the energy roiling, just pump it up with more of the good stuff and that will be helpful. <laughs> 